Many of the people here on this floor in Omaha, Nebraska, at the CenturyLink have been coming to the Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting for 5, 10, yeah, maybe 15 years. Sorry. Imagine coming Sorry. every year of your life. Growing up Buffett involved coming to these meetings. Meet Warren Buffett's kids, Howard, Susie, and Peter. Great to have you guys. This is our ninth annual Fox wow, Business, the kids' exclusive. I was exclusive. wondering how many years we've done. Yes. No wonder I feel old. Next year we get a prize list. <laughs> yeah. Year 10. Yeah, 10 yeah. years. So, so, yeah. Mine. yeah, some retin-A for all of us, right? I mean, can you imagine? I'm thinking Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen's right over there. Listen, it's different this year. Your dad came up with this idea to live stream it to now millions of people in the world. It's going to be in both English and Mandarin. He's suddenly becoming high tech, Howie? I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone gave him the idea and he just said that's a great idea. But I, I'm going to interpret in Mandarin if I if he needs help. You know what? I, I bet you could, <laughs> yes. He's, he's in big in farming, certainly. But, Susie, you know, it is a different feel this time around. Yeah. He has almost opened it up to the world versus people coming to Omaha. What do you think that means about where he's at in his mind? I think it's great. You know, I think his hesitation in the past has been that he loves the party aspect of it. He loves it that everybody shows up. And I said to him, we were talking about it a couple of years ago, Everybody's going to still show up. Everybody does love the party. I don't think it'll cut down on attendance, but it will give access to people who aren't able to come for whatever reason. And I think that's wonderful. Well, it's sort of like the Super Bowl. I mean, if you have the tickets in your hand, wouldn't you go versus sure. watching oh, it on yeah. TV, right, yeah. Peter? Absolutely. Not yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> or, well, or like a concert. I mean, people will, watching yeah. it online is nothing like being there live. Right. So, right. yeah. How do you think your dad has evolved over the years? I know that's such a broad question, but... Has he even evolved? <laughs> <laughs> Has he even evolved? Well, I, uh, yes and no. I mean, when I talk to somebody about what was it like growing up or something, my first word is consistency. And that's what you see. I mean, he's the same person day in and day out, and it's why he's so successful. So in some ways, he hasn't evolved in the good sense of the word at all. Um, but I think he, what, what do you think? I mean, I think in some ways he continually grows and I mean that's also why he's so good because he grows and he learns and and he takes new information in so he's both exactly the same and a little bit different yeah. as he gets older definitely loosened up yeah yeah he, he also loosened up his purse strings yes he yeah. did Liz. you guys gave me not, not, <laughs> not enough <laughs> they want more hey you guys have I guess by now two billion each for all of your foundations that he has given you you, of course, have an unbelievable Africa effort when it comes to all that is farming and making seeds that are better and more helpful to the world. You've got the Sherwood Foundation for Women and Girls. And she you stole that name from me, by the way. Oh. I want that on the record. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah true. she did. It's, it's good that you guys are really getting along many years later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In our old age. Talking about evolution, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Peter, of course, you have the Novo Foundation right. with um, your wife, Jennifer. Yep. Uh, what has that meant for your world? You guys could have been completely different had your dad said, here, here's the money, go have fun with it. I think we still would have ended up probably doing some similar things that we're doing because we wouldn't feel like, I mean, if you are this fortunate, you need to share it and do things for other people. You just, it's I don't, just know, I don't know what else do. we would spend money on yeah, ourselves. I, I mean, either. there's not nothing that, that we need and, and we have everything that we would want. Okay, um, a Lamborghini? No, I mean, what's the point? <laughs> no. I mean, it's a funny like, you know, I mean, honestly, I, 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 I think Susie's right. I don't think we would have done anything differently. Well, you guys are now power players, though, in the philanthropy world. Do you get a lot of pitches, or do you don't take any ideas for your foundation? Uh, you got one? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the Liz Clayman of the right, Malibu exactly. Beach House Foundation. Right, right, yeah, exactly. Five hundred one three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, when you have a big foundation, you're com. better looking and you're funnier and you're all those yeah. things. So yeah, you get tons of attention and rejections and everything else that you wouldn't get otherwise. Yeah. I know it doesn't surprise you guys. You know this already. Your dad is the oldest CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Does he ever feel like he's in the final stretch, Susie? No. He's also the smartest. <laughs> uh, uh, no. I mean, he amazes me because when I think about when I think about his actual age, I think, really? You know, he's, he's better than he's ever been. He's a yeah. little underpaid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a it's a strange thing to think about because he's he's better than he's ever been. And right behind you is a mock up of the railroad. Your dad their dad owns a railroad. Well of course Berkshire yeah, bought, right, yeah, yeah. bought yeah. Burlington Northern. What's the coolest company? What made you think my oh, dad's man. cool when <laughs> you first wow. Peter when he bought oh. one of his ninety companies? Gosh, that's that's a good question. 
Help me out. Girl, no, I, I, mean, yeah. I, I would have to, of course, being the girl, I would have to say Borgheim's. <laughs> but I also have to say I, I'm, not, I'm now, uh, I have to shift that a little bit to South Bay and the Forest River Company because I have a South Bay pontoon boat now. <laughs> You're kidding. No. And, and you really haven't fun. sunk it yet. Not yet. I mean, your dad's <laughs> in pontoon boats? It's unbelievable. Yeah. What about you, Howard? <laughs> I'd say Burlington, CTB, and Dairy Queen. Yeah. Got to love the Dairy Queen, right? Yeah, but you can eat a lot of Dairy Queen on a train. So, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, you, know. you know, in this 51st year of the shareholder meeting, and you look out at these crowds, and people are fascinated not just by your dad, but by you. What is the most important thing you ever learned from your dad as you look ahead? Oh, boy. I mean, I think it would be a certain kind of consistency and, um, well, everything I would say, like an evenness and a, um, you know, a way of thinking things through and all that stuff, it all gets back to some level of, of a consistent behavior that you can count on, something you can count on. I would agree with that, and I would add both my parents, the social values, the, um, sure. yeah, social justice, equality. Um, we grew up seeing a lot of, uh, their, their, the examples they gave were amazing for us. Yeah. Well, my dad used to always tell me, you've heard him say this, but he, he started with us kids when we were little. He always said, stay within your circle of competence. And he always reminded me mine was like really small. <laughs> and and, and that's, a, that's a great lesson for everybody. And, and then the other thing is he used to always say to me, you know, all of us, that um, Anything you do could end up on the front page of the paper yeah. when you wake up. So just think about what you do. Yeah. And I think if you, if you really think about that, you do some things differently. The pride that you feel when you see him on stage and all these people, and now it's going to be spread to the entire world. What is that like, Susie? It's a little strange, frankly. I mean, the pride is definitely there, but um, just to have watched all of this evolve is, um, you know, I still feel like we're just the same old kids that grew up on Farm Street, the regular old you know, with two really amazingly great parents. And um, so it, it's a it's kind of a funny mix of things. And, and speaking of, you know, what's going on this weekend, all these people come to hear his investment advice. What is the most important thing he ever told you, not necessarily about investment, Peter, but about life? Oh, boy. <laughs> I get the... You're getting, right, yeah. you're getting, getting the, the hard ones first. Well, I paid her. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it's so much around integrity. Yeah, I can't integrity. think of. Yeah, yeah. I can't do think what of you love, integrity. Yeah, do what you love and integrity. Yeah, do what you love and integrity. Yeah, thank you. Truth. Yeah, right. Tell the I truth. just, I just remember saying, buy Bircher and then buy more Bircher. So that's what I remember. <laughs> yeah. I that was all he ever said. Yeah. You know, do you guys ever think about the time when he's not going to be around and how yeah. you let his legacy live on? Uh, I think we've let the legacy live on by the work we're doing with our foundations. They can answer differently if they want to, but mm -hmm. I mean, I think certainly think that's the legacy that he'll leave, um, and it, and it's enormous. And I just, I, you know, there's it's definitely a huge responsibility and an honor, really, to do it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And and in a sense, it's sort of a living legacy, right? I mean, yeah. that's, we're experiencing it in real time, and I think. The, the aspects of that that do last, the books, the, 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 the way he works, the, his values, you know, all of those things will just live on through a lot of people that end up coming here to be touched by it. Right? So I think it's through uh, mostly what he exudes in his values just live in people. And I think he'd rather see that than a building somewhere named after him. <laughs> I think that's why so many people show up, is his values. I mean, they respect yeah. him so much for the person he is, which is a, a very unusual person. I try not to think about it. When it <laughs> happens, it's going to happen. It's going to be, it's going to, it's going to take a lot of adjustment. And it's big. It's big. Well, and he'll have the most effects, yeah. like, directly. Yeah, you know, how because you will yeah. be the non-executive chairman of the right. company. Yeah. That's if the board votes for me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I checked, I had about 30%. But I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> Great to have all of you guys. Yeah. Howard, you. Susie, Peter, Thank Ninth you. Annual. We'll see you next Thanks, year. Thank you. <laughs> Great Bye -bye. to have you. <laughs>